<laughs> Hello. What? Okay. That's oh. Okay, we got some diamond horse armor. That's perfect because we have our little horse back at home, and uh, I guess golden apple. What do I want to get rid of? I'll do that. What's okay? Hello. Ow. Okay. How do I go about doing this? Stop. Oh, oh, yes. Wait. Oh, what? I was a creeper now. What is happening? <laughs> Why wasn't it? What? Okay. I'm, I'm just... Okay. <laughs> so I got some diamonds. And then we have a zombie spawner. Which is perfect because... I actually need some sort of XP. So... I think... Uh, block that off. <laughs> I think I'm going to turn this into an XP farm. Where did I fall down from? Up there. Let me get the, we got these diamonds. One diamond. Oh, two diamonds. There we go. All right, so I, I just I was not expecting to just hit record at that. Uh, I was just down here just trying to mine, trying to get some diamonds. I found I got I mean total of five so far, which is really good. So I came in. But, um, yeah, now we got a zombie spawner now. I would have much rather it be a skeleton spawner, but, you know, I can't be choosy. I gotta take what I can get, so at least we got a zombie spawner. So now, what are the cords? 370, okay. I'll come back. So not very close to the house, but... I'll, uh, so what do I need? I need to go to the nether, because I need to get soul sand. Uh, so I guess that's what we gotta do this episode is create a portal and then come back. And get this thing going. Uh, what is going on, guys? Welcome to Minecraft Hardcore Episode 6. So, here we are. Um, this is a little mine that I created earlier. So, I was doing a little bit of work off camera. Well, I guess kind of on camera, but off camera at the same time. So, I was down there doing some mining, trying to get some diamonds and mainly iron. So, I found a stack in something earlier of iron and then i got a little bit more here but this time i went a little deeper and then if you come over here i was doing some fishing and uh i got i finally got the name tag with the the fishing rod so i went ahead and i added them all together for the fishing fishing rod that i have here and then also got this book with lure two now i think i can add does it go to lure three i think i can combine those as well so I and mean, now we have three saddles i found two saddles from fishing i got this bow which is power form break of three but this curse of vanishing so i've never really used that enchantment but i'm pretty sure that it uh it disappears when i die so i don't think it's a big deal if i use it but i'm not really sure but here's the house so i got a few little details i got like a, a little well thing there i have this little hand wagon and uh, I got a hay bale wagon. So I decided to add a little bit of character to the, the land around here. And when I was fishing, I got these guys. So another trader wandered up into the water. He was swam right next to me while I was over in the middle of the lake. And uh, I decided to kill him because he didn't offer anything de decent. And uh, I stole his llamas once again. So the last llamas that were near despawned. 
but this time I remember to hook them up with the leads to the fence. So now they shouldn't despawn and I also have this horse armor. So now let's go ahead and toss it on our, yeah, look at you. So now that we have the name tag, let's actually grab that and we can finally name our horse after all these episodes. And if you guys can't already tell, I'm using shaders. So I did a little poll on YouTube earlier and a lot of you guys said you love the look of shaders. It's I think majority voted for shaders on the poll. So I decided to go ahead and give it a go for this episode. This whole episode will be used with shaders. So let me know what you guys think of it. Um, I don't really know if I will keep shaders permanently on, but I decided to do a one off episode to uh, see what you guys think. So now I'm going to go ahead and name the I did have a bunch of names, so I had names for the cat, names for the parrot and the horse, but it took me so long to get a name tag. I completely forgot the names that I had handpicked out for them, but there's been one name that I've been kind of thinking about for our horse, and that is Superman. <laughs> So let's go ahead and Superman. There we go. We finally have a name for, oh my goodness, <laughs> for our horse. <laughs> All right, you can stay there, Superman. Um, yes, hello. And then we have our first diamond pickaxe. So this is the original one that uh, we first built in this world. So I decided to name it and stick it here instead of, you know, fixing it up. And then I made a new one, which is pretty much the same durability. It's used quite a lot of it when mining, so. But uh, let's see how much obsidian. So we have four obsidian, which isn't anything impressive. But we can come down here and grab our buckets of lava. There we go. And now we can create some more obsidian so we can create ourselves a another portal somewhere. But first I need to go I'll maybe do over there. Just plop down a bunch of lava and uh, convert it into obsidian. Let me sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? Don't you dare shoot me, Gast. What is this nether spawn, man? I need to build up this roof. Protect my portal. I should have brought it. Why? Why? Why me? Why? Why is this the spawn that I get? Okay, so I got a little bridge built. Um, yeah, that wasn't ideal. That was not ideal at all. It was uh, quite scary, especially spawning in on a floating platform <laughs> next to a ghast. Yeah, not, uh, not the greatest spawn. However, I got a little bridge here, so I feel safer. And uh, I got my shield on. I'm protected. Nothing can hurt me. Um, maybe. <laughs> I, uh, I really want to find some 
soul sand. That's pretty much all I'm here for is soul sand. I will do a more in depth, I guess, nether exploration at a later date. I'll grab some mushrooms. Mushrooms won't hurt nobody. I'm so scared right now. There's some... Okay, this is all sand. I just scared the living crap out of myself. I broke a block, lava flew out at me. Oh, my heart felt like I about dropped out of my chest. Okay, I'm so close. To all this work for some soul sand. Ah! Ah, my butt! Ow, stop burning. Oh my gosh. I do have boots on. These guys shouldn't attack me, right? He's staring at me like... Okay. Yeah, go away. I'm just gonna come down here peacefully. Oh my gosh, man. This, this is just great. This is so great. Okay, this is not over here, so I gotta. Okay, right here. Just carefully grab some of this soul sand. I don't have inventory space. Uh, dirt. Okay. How much do I have? 17. I'm gonna live with it. I'm gonna live with. Are you okay, bud? Okay. I'm just gonna be on my way. Time to, I'm going home. By the way, I did turn off the shaders quickly because I couldn't see anything. And, uh... Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Never going back. All right, here we are. Okay, so now let's. The shawl should be protected. Okay, so now we gotta do a four by four surrounding this. Okay, so now. This is, I think this is the side that I want to use as this side here. So one, two, three, four, right? One, two, three, yep. Okay, so because this is the path that I came in originally, I think I'm going to go out this way. Um, and then eventually, I guess I'll have to make a pathway to uh, to connect everything. But yeah, this looks pretty good. Okay, so I didn't bring any signs. I'll have to make some. But I, uh, oh, I don't have any kelp. I forgot to bring kelp. So that sucks. I think it'd also be nice. I think I'm going to make this block ice. So it uh, allows them to slide more efficiently. Now, a trading villager did do a trade for ice, packed ice, but I didn't collect it because I don't have any uh, emeralds and uh, I didn't see a need for it at the moment. But hopefully another one comes around because they'll be very useful. So I found something. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, so this is something. I'll explore this later. I'll take this iron, though. I'll come back and explore this part later. But uh, I don't care to right now. <laughs> I got other priorities. There we go. So I'm going to do this block right here. And uh, I'll lower that. So this is where they will officially drop. So it's one block above the actual spawner room. Um, and I think this way I will put amethyst 
tinted glass, I think is what it's called, because I believe it you can see through it, but light won't go through. That way I can see all the mobs spawning, but the light up here won't stop them from actually spawning. Okay, so now let's go all the way up with this kelp. I also, I feel like I need to close this up, but I don't think it should be fine. I don't think it'll disrupt anything. Um, that's just the only way that I uh, have access to that room at this moment. Just like this. Off we go. There we go. Now I have a few buckets of water down there, so I will survive. And uh, let's hop out here like that. <laughs> and then I will simply block up these blocks here and should be fine like that i think this block here is actually where they i think they should fall i don't know well we'll find out okay <laughs> this doesn't have any bubbles in it but i did climb the whole entire i think four or five blocks under the surface and i managed to do it with only two bubbles left of oxygen now i need to go down Hope I live. Ooh. See, I think you go down much faster than you go up. So what if I were to go upwards? Because this, this side here is not cut out yet. So I don't really want to make this a bubble effect until I cut this side out. So how fast can we swim up? <laughs> one oxygen bubble left i think that's safe right oh that's not a good swim go up all right let's just go down i will i'll worry about the other section to fall down later but for now this is what i have there we go and then we'll put just a basic block there for now just like that so that way everything will cycle into here and we'll just do that. There we go. So all the zombies will fall here and uh, I guess I'll cover that so it looks nice. And then all the loot will eventually cycle into one of these rooms here. So light it up so it doesn't uh, look horrible. <laughs> um, but I need to get more chests and I need to get more, a lot more iron uh, for that to be something and then we got the blue glass here so i think that looks pretty cool and uh i might make this i mean there's a lot of detailing i need to do to this room but that's not my main priority as uh, i don't want this episode to be too long so let's i didn't think this through how do i get down i'll just break this block here and uh i'm not sure how i get up but you know what we'll just grab that and drop down here there we go. Well, let's, let's remove this chest. That's clearly in my way. And because it's a zombie spawner, not a skeleton, I'm not as scared for when they do start spawning as uh, I won't get shot. All right, so here we are. Now let's wait and see. I also had some zombies tear down a wall in my village, so. I think someone's dead. Oh, I just saw someone. Do you see that? It's like a gl Oh, there goes a baby. <laughs> and then the baby should arrive. Oh, there we go. We got a few coming. And we just kill them. We get the XP. But all the loot goes into here. I'll actually grab these blocks back. There you go. We officially have ourselves a mob farm. Finally. Normally I do build a giant mob farm in the sky, um, like I did with my last series, but I'm trying to keep it more simple, not have anything too exciting to, I guess, over the top for the series. Um, so that's why I'm just going to be doing this. I think the next XP farm will probably be something like an Enderman farm, um, stuff like that. So I will use this farm for the most part to get all the XP sources. So. 
I do have plenty of leather and I should have a decent bit of sugarcane, so I will be able to build a enchantment table somewhere here. It's also cool there's like an amethyst building right here. Um, considering that I wanted to use it for the flooring and uh, <laughs> there's a room right there for it, so that's perfect. But yeah, I, I like the way this room turned out actually. It kind of looks kind of cool. I mean, obviously I'm going to do a lot more detailing to it, but for now, this is kind of what I got going so far. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I know it's it might be a little all over the place, but uh, I think I, I, I like the way that everything turned out. So we went to the we went to the nether, explored and uh, got, got quite scared. I'm not going to lie. My hands were so sweaty. My heart about jumped out of my chest. And then uh, now here we are in there in our brand new mob farm. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Let me know. Do you guys like the shaders or not? I might leave it back to the normal for next episode, but uh, let me know your thoughts on it. I'll see you guys later. Peace.